Yarnell Sampson visited the place where his only son, his only child, Tyree Sampson, died. This is his first visit to Orlando Freefall, and he was immediately overwhelmed. Not just for the loss of his only son, but also because of the outpouring of support that is still here at the memorial for Tyree. Many of these posters and flyers from complete strangers since the family lives in St. Louis. In a dictionary, they don't have nothing to describe a father or parent or mother bearing their child. There's no word to describe that. So what I'm feeling right now is is, is sickness. It's, it's days I can't get out to bed, make myself eat, make myself drink. Imagine you lose a, a honor roll student, 14 year old child that was a straight A student, went to school, did everything you told him to do and had no problems doing it. What would you do in this situation you lose your child? There's two ways I can go. I can go to depression and hide and let this just fall away, or I can stand up and do the right thing. On Monday, Slingshot Group released a statement saying in part they followed all safety protocols and procedures. We told the attorneys that today at the press conference. They say they have people willing to be witnesses in their case, people who rode this drop tower ride and sat in the same seat as Tyree. According to attorney Ben Hilliard, one witness reported the faulty harness to a ride attendant, and the man even has photos of the bruises he incurred trying to hold on during the ride. Mr. Hilliard tells me that this witness is willing to testify in court. Part of the reason they wanted to go to court is to make sure all of these documents become part of the public record and aren't swept under the rug. Reporting outside of Orlando Freefall, I'm Maris Badcock, getting results, News 6.